Ladies and gentlemen, it's time! Are you ready to see Ren Tao versus Yo Asakura? I am. I'm hoping it's good. I try to hype myself up in each of these because I, I don't know. Sometimes they're hits, sometimes they're not misses, but they're. they are quiet. They're very quiet episodes, so, yeah, I just uh, waited a whole week for this, and I'm hoping it's good, guys, I'm hoping it's good, so I'm just gonna jump right into it, we're gonna go, uh, start this off in three, two, one, go. China. a thick man. Mm. Not the panda! <laughs> po! 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 This is a horrible anime. I hate this anime. How are you going to do that to a panda? Disrespectful. I, I I was like, wait. He's just squeezing it, right? But I was like, ah, it still hurts. It's horrible. I didn't think he was actually going to... That's so much. Why do you... I'm disappointed. I'm sad. <sighs> See, this is why Ren doesn't like him. His dad's a dick. Imagine, imagine like what a, what a like a pat of approval must be like. Like Tao's Tao, uh, Ren's like what five four. Imagine like by by his dad, who's like easily three foot or something, three foot. Uh, like 30 foot or something. Maybe not 30 foot. That's all you think his dad is. Like 8 foot? 30 foot. I said 30 foot. I just like put that in perspective. Like, that's crazy. Uh, I don't even think the... I don't even know if the Empire like State Building or something like that is 30 foot. Japan is really crowded. Do they have to specifically be in Tokyo for this part? Huh. But then who does Yo have? Oops. He, yeah, because Silva did try to uh, save Yo, which is not his job. He's just supposed to observe. If any rules get broken, then we're good.
pointy hair. Oh, I was thinking of Horror Horror for some reason. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to mention, last episode, that was the, no, the episode before that. With the Faust thing, that was the first time Yo, like, was like, that's cool. It's like Dracula. Uh, Yo's trying to act serious, but I guarantee you he's just putting up a front. He's like, hey, man. <laughs> Maybe. I was gonna say, uh, with the Faust one, it was the first time Yo like talked back to Anna. Hmm. So is Ren? Ren's won two so far in a row, so he should be fine no matter what, right? Oh, I'm so excited. Please let this be good. I want action. That fits fire. It looks good. Ooh. He's been drinking his milk. <laughs> of course, I drink three milks. Three milks. Three glasses of milk every day. How did it suddenly turn into night? Just a regular time scheme? I recognize this song. Golden Oversoul. What does that even mean? Okay. I like it. We're going right into it. Don't slow down for me. Well, yeah, this is when we get to see the, the new form. Like, it's like a cannon. It's got, like, this big mace at the end. Why did it switch? Yeah. It's two people. I got eyes in the back of my head. Imagine your sword had eyes. That'd be so useful. It could, like, guard for you. I like it was like, okay, you gotta watch Ren now, because you got favoritism towards Yo, but it's like, Yo's fighting him, so it doesn't really make a difference, does it? Like, surely you would want to pick someone to avoid, you know, Yo. <laughs> I live to destroy everything. It's such a weird, like, oxymoron. It's like, I live to destroy. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Half of Basan is already manifesting.
I don't know why he keeps switching though whenever he attacks. Like downgrades. There it is. Go down the pot. This song looks like a stand now. Look how big he is. Damn, he's got some huge shoulders. Shoulders are massive. No. Yo, no! Now you're over, so. Okay, I came back. I was like, we can't be done, right? Hmm. Okay. Ren still got a lot, though. He's got 350. It's a math game. Let me just piss him off. Have him lose focus. Have him waste all his furry. <laughs> it's so funny. Well, you're gonna give her a phone call, and you're gonna you're gonna run there. Okay, that's useful. If you break it, he's used a lot. Okay. Well, that wasn't my strategy. Hmm. Okay. Damn, he's big. Did he get bigger, or is that it's bro? That's literally all of Basan is manifested. See, I was like, yeah, just find a finite position and blow it up. If you do that, you have to remake it. That'll take a lot of Furioku. Yeah, you had to make it, make it again, right? Or... So he's trusting Aminamaru's fighting skills. Which is smart, because Aminamaru knows how to fight way better than Yo will ever know. <laughs> so... The technique's there. Yep. Wait, does he have a, like a uh, <laughs> a plane? Like, he looks like a battleship. Hollow blade. Halo blade. Hollow blade. Like the halo sword. 
Uh -huh. it's such an old reference. Okay, yeah. It's way more fragile. Finally, I was like, you do still have the horse, right? So is this going to be like a Pegasus now? It's going to be a giant. Oh, that's cool. They put the OS version 2 now. Oh, this is OS version 2. Wait, the whole thing is OS version 2? I thought it was this version 3. That's not fair. Where's like my giant Aminamaru? I got to change the title of my last one. I put... Evolution. It's actually version 2. Black Peach? Oh, he has the soul of Black Peach. And he's putting it into White Phoenix. So now it's... White Peach. <laughs> Could have been Black Phoenix, but... Hmm... Where is this? Oh, whoa, they, they're watching it? That's cool. Okay. <laughs> 90. And then what is Ren have? 150. Okay. So Ren has been expending a lot. Because it was a little unclear. I was like, how much has he been using? Are they breaking? He's reforming? It's not that far away. At least it doesn't have like double of what Yo is. If there's one thing Yo always knows, it's how people feel. June, you need to get out of that country. What are you doing, woman? Save yourself. Get out of there. He just killed a panda. You think he's going to care about his daughter? She's not listening. Guys, for future reference, if you go into a room and a man has just murdered a panda, you leave immediately.
Wait, is he gonna make it a draw? I don't remember what happened. Was it a draw? Because he says he's gonna win with Ren. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. It makes sense, because Yo has his loneliness, and then it shares with friends. They both had, like... A lonely upbringing. That thing is massive. Don't you love when insane looking people say, Are you insane? It's like, No, no, I don't think I am, but maybe you are. There we go, finally. Oh, I've been waiting for me to borrow. Sheesh! Look at that. Mm. You know how it's like. Ren has the high ground. He has the high ground and then some. He's on a horse. I already know it's a draw, but I just... Look, bro, this is so funny. He's like wind and water. Oh, he's gonna keep going. All I can do is crush my opponent with force. I keep telling myself strength could prevail, but now I finally understand. But force cannot crush wind or water. That's pretty deep. Even the horse fell down. <laughs> this man had, had a whole, like, haiku and everything. Mm. Ah, so convenient. So practical. So what does the Grand Spirit say? Damn, they all pulled up. Jeez. Okay. Cool. Night in the flame. Okay, 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 okay. And there was no ending, uh, no end credit because uh, that was the ending when he was doing his whole mantra like thing, just going through the wind. He's like wind and water. I was like, yeah. I mean, he is kind of. I was like, oh, it's like a, it's like a Bruce Lee thing where it's like. Uh, if you flow like water, you know, it doesn't matter how, how tough it is, you know, you just flow out, you know. Anyways, but, yeah, I mean, it was pretty, it was pretty obvious. <laughs> like, even, Yo actually said it. He straight up said it. So, I mean, 
It was more than obvious. It was just like that was Yo's plan. He's like, I'm gonna. I, unless I read it wrong, I swear he said like, I'm gonna take down. Like, I'm gonna. What does he say? Like something along the lines of like, I'm gonna go down with Ren or something. I was like, so it's a draw, right? I actually forgot until he said that. I was like, no, that, wait. So you're gonna go for a draw, and I was like, actually, now I remember. I think it was a draw. So. Uh, I guess that's good enough. I don't know. Can you imagine if you were, like, one of those people that, like, you lost, you won, you lost, like, yo. And then, like, your last one was so close, but it wasn't a draw. And then it was, like, eh, too bad. Or, like, it was a draw, but the great spirit decided, no, nah, you know, you don't get to go by. It's like, what? And then you find out about these two guys, like, oh, they both got a pass. It's like, the fuck <laughs> why so i don't know that's that's pretty funny um the fight was okay it was it wasn't bad i'm glad like it wasn't like because okay my thing with the faust fight was it paused midway and then did this whole dramatic introspective for yo and like it's like the going thing like i never knew losing or being weak could be so painful right and then Faust at the end still does the whole giant skeleton thing. I'm like, like couldn't we have had all that horror aspect and stuff? Like, I feel like it would have worked better if you had crushed your spirit, like completely and utterly crushed it, like in a horror, like a like a horror type of way. You know what I mean? Like show all the stuff that Faust can do and just smash Yo into submission and just have him then feel like defeated and then have that whole like momentous occasion now i get it having ren come in and just one shot faust is like that's that like oh shoot ren's like way stronger than we ever could have expected but it's like i don't know i would have rather if we had just i feel like it just took away a lot from faust i feel like we could have done a little bit more especially considering i don't think faust gets many other moments Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the manga gives him way more moments. But, like, that's, like, the most memorable thing about Shaman King. One of the most memorable things about Shaman King is that fight. And I feel like it just was so watered down. It was like, this is okay, but... I mean, granted, the, the, the things they added, I mean, he cut open Manto, which was not in the first one. I was like, this is looking good. <laughs> this is looking a little more intense than I expected, but it's good. And then it just kind of fell flat. I was like, oh, hmm, okay. But that could be my own, like, just my own opinion. A lot of people probably loved it and they thought it was okay. Um, but I don't know. You guys can comment what you guys think about this fight. I thought it was one, was it my favorite? Yeah, it was my favorite fight so far. I really like Basan's, like, giant thing. I like how I mentioned, like, Amina Maru, I was like, why isn't Amina Maru just, like, half his body shown, like, a giant, too? I'm like, that doesn't make sense. Is it because he doesn't have enough for Yoko? But, well, Yo said he didn't want to go that far, but I was like, man, I'm thinking, like, yeah, but there's so many moments where you, well, I guess it was because of his training he'd be able to tap into that. Beforehand, he wasn't able to, so, I guess that makes sense. Um, what else? I guess the preliminaries are starting now. So, we saw Horo Horo again. We saw Faust again. Faust is in a wheelchair now. Yeah, I, I didn't notice, but I, yeah, he has Eliza skull on his lap. There's uh, the one with the bullet hole. It's like, yeah. I'm surprised, like, Horo Horo was able to, like, semi keep his composure. Like, I would be asking so many questions. I'd be like, why is there a skull with a hole in it on your on your lap? And why are you talking to it? Like, this isn't Hamlet's, you know? This isn't you trying to, like, give it as a metaphor for life. Like, you are genuinely talking to that thing with love and compassion. I'm here, and you're not even talking to me. You're looking at me, but you're talking to that thing. So, I have a lot of questions. And, frankly, I don't I don't even care about the answers. I'm just going to leave. Like, no. But Horror Horror was just, like, creepy. And then just kept watching. I was like... I mean, surely you'd have more questions. I mean, I'm guessing he's supposed to be there because it's a preliminary. So, but yeah, it's just weird. So, okay, 
are all of them in Tokyo? Like, every single, like, competitor, even, like, I mean, it's not really much of a spoiler, but I think we all know that, um, how, right, the, the kid at the beginning with the, 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 the brother of Yo, right, I'm pretty sure, so that means he's in Tokyo now. Or has been in Tokyo this entire time. So he should... Hypothetically, I'm assuming. He should be in the preliminaries, right? Otherwise, I guess he could just say screw the rules and just show up there eventually. I don't know. So who... Okay, who are the three unlucky bastards? Because you know he got a... <laughs> you know he got a clean sweep. You know he got a clean sweep. Who are the three unlucky bastards that had to face how? I'm just curious. Maybe Hal was a little nice about it. Maybe he was like, if you give up, like he showed his spirit and like his power and he was like, if you give up, I won't hurt you. Just give up. And make it simple for you. And it's like, okay. But then again, I feel like it's quicker to just and then they die. So I don't know. I'm really excited to see how. I think I'm, I'm just trying to think of it as like, well, because if everyone's in Tokyo and we're in the preliminary stage now and they're all at that building... That means that how should be there, right? I think. But that sounds so weird. Why would they all be in Tokyo? I mean, Ren went to Tokyo. He went from China to Japan. Which is cool that they mentioned it's, like, very clearly China. Like, I think in the old one it was kind of implied it was China. But, like, there was, like, a weird form of, like, explaining the transportation i don't know like i was like it just didn't feel like it was china it just felt like it was a different part of japan um no but this one was clearly china i mean if the pan the panda and like it literally said china if they didn't get that then like well I don't know. but so ren went to japan but is that for the shaman fight too or was that just like a form of like because his dad said he had to go to, he decided to take him abroad or like send him abroad so he could like learn more and like become a better like successor but now i'm wondering did i take that as like I'm, I'm i'm trying to figure out how i take that do i take that as like the shaman fight was an opportunity for that and everyone has to go in the first stage of the shaman fight has to go to tokyo because they said before with anna like saying like it the shaman fights in tokyo and then yo and Mata were like <gasps> and so i think it was when anna like showed up for the first time and then um so I had that same question before, but it wasn't really answered until this point. So was this first stage, like, it couldn't be anywhere else in the world? Like, it's Tokyo, it's in Tokyo, it's in London, and it's in, like, New York or something. You know what I mean? Like, or, like, you know, I'm trying to think, like, east, west, like, middle. So I'm thinking, like, it's in Rome, it's in Tokyo, it's in, like, Los Angeles. You know what I mean? Like... I don't know, is is it like that, or is it like, it's only a Tokyo, which, I've said this before, if you've seen Jujutsu Kaisen, spoiler alert, real quick, it's not a huge spoiler, but like, uh, there's like different sectors, like in the world, that have high concentration of ghosts, or like curses and stuff, and it's based on like, population density, right, and obviously Tokyo has the highest amount of curses, because there's the most amount of people living in it, so I was thinking to myself, is that why it's in Tokyo? Like, the same kind of reason for Shaman King? Like, the Shaman fight has a high condensed uh, amount of souls because there's just so much, like, it's a higher concentration of people in such a close amount of space because Tokyo has the highest amount of people. I think it's, like, 35 million in one city, right? Um, which is... It, 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 I can't even imagine, bro. I'm Canadian. That's That's the population of my entire country. And that, I can't even imagine that in a city, in a single city. That's, that's insane. That's, that's incredible. Like, it's horrible, but incredible and amazing. Because it's definitely horrible because the congestion. I mean, Silva and uh, whatever that guy's name were saying, like, it's so condensed. Like, it's just, it is, it is. But I'm wondering if that has something to do with the showman fight as well. Like, maybe because of Tokyo and just how it is. That the shaman fight had to be there. But I don't know. I have no clue. I'm just trying to figure out if it's definitely just in Tokyo or whatever. Because I know we'll move on from Tokyo. Because, 
happening. You're not going to have, like, the giant-ass fights in Tokyo. Like, as they get stronger and stronger, like, as we keep going through the tournament, they'll be stronger and stronger. You know, you're not going to have, like, Tokyo, uh, the most highly dense populated area, just, like, big, giant kaiju attacks, but the spirits, they can't see them. So it's just going to be, like... It's gonna be like in Bleach, whenever like the hollows are like you can't see them, but like you see buildings get torn. You know, I always think like, in those moments, I'm like, they must have so many questions. Like curses in Jujutsu Kaisen, you have the same problem. Well, actually, no, you can see curses. I think regular people can see curses. I'm not too sure. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. No, no, they can't. No, they can't. Um, but regardless, it's just one of those things when you see invisible stuff like just causing damage around the city. I'd just be like. World. Like, it's some super mad, supernatural stuff. I just leave. I run, like, as fast as I can. But most of the time in the animes like that, they just look at it. They're like, what's going on? And I'm like, are you dumb? Run! So, I don't know. Anyways, that's just a little bit of a rant. But I'm just confused about the Tokyo thing. So, uh, I went on a really big rant for that. But anything else on the episode was basically... The whole thing was just the fight, which was cool. Mata never came back. I just realized that. Mata said, oh, I'm going to go to Anna, and I'm going to see if she knows anything. He went, and he <laughs> never came back. Wait, that's so true. So, is... Wait, so... See, okay, so Mata doesn't have a phone, so he can't call her, but I'm assuming he should. I hope he doesn't, because if he does have a phone, there's no excuse for him. I'm sure Anna has a phone. She must have a phone. Knowing her personality, she'd be like, I want a phone. I'm going to get a phone. So, anything she wants, she'll get. So, it's like, okay, fine. But, yeah, I'm assuming Monta doesn't have a phone. In which case, he ran all the way there. And the entire episode happened. He just never showed up. Even for, like, the final part. Did he ever, like, he, did, he didn't come for, like, the final clash to be like, wow. It's like, no, he didn't do that. He just didn't. He just didn't. I hope they address that next episode. That's hilarious. I just I just remembered that. You see, this is good. This is why I'm rec recollecting all the stuff. But I think that's it. That's crazy. So Monta completely disappeared. He could be dead. He could be completely dead. Maybe maybe next episode is going to touch on like why Monta didn't come back. Maybe he ran into something or something. I don't know. Uh, maybe Ryu. Because Ryu showed up in that uh, preview. So maybe Ryu again interrupts Monta's journey to go find something for Yo. I feel like he does this every single time. It's like a pattern. Every time Yo has a fight, Monta's like, oh, I'm going to go get something, and leaves. But usually he comes back, or we have the camera on him at some point. But this time it was just like, no, I'm sorry. You've seen this like three times. You already know something's going to happen. We'll touch on it later. But that's it. That's it for the episode. So if you guys like the reaction, like the video. If you guys have anything Shaman King related, um, in, this, in these reactions, you can actually go into the comments, and I will read them, and I will... Uh, have a little bit of discussion for you guys. Uh, if you if you want to have any questions or anything you want to talk about with me, go ahead. Have fun in the comments or with each other. Go ahead. Um, if you guys enjoy what you see in uh, on this channel and you want to see more and you want to stay notified, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss a single thing that comes out. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. This has been my reaction to Shaman King.